Hello, everybody. Welcome to your July part two video scope about the energies in the second half of this month and the full moon. My name is Jean. I am a coach, soul coach, an intuitive, and an astrologer. And if you'd like to schedule something with me personally, the link is below. And I also have monthly energy video scopes over on my Patreon site. So we are riding on this very lovely new moon in cancer energy that occurred on the 9th of July, which is really igniting new themes and movement in that area of your chart, which highlights sensitivity, personal security, family, community. Cancer is about nurturing and nurturing a sense of family and community. And given what's been going on on the planet the past year, where there's more flexibility and movement for many, this may be a time where you really want to develop and put some time into friendships and community activities. Humans need each other. The more isolated they are, that lends itself to feelings of anxiety, problems sleeping. And so um, this is a lovely time for really, really tending to that and getting your needs met in the heart space. Now, the first of two Pluto oppositions occurs on the 17th when the sun transiting through Cancer is opposing Pluto from 25 degrees of Cancer to Capricorn. So awareness is found uh, with this transit in the areas affecting your identity and will and personal security in the financial and the emotional and the spiritual realms. When Pluto is present, the ruler of the subconscious mind, which is really kind of master control of our lives. We have all of these operating systems running that are not always at the conscious level. So, but with Pluto, there's always opportunity for soul awareness, for transformation energy, which is the theme on this planet during this time. We're in a very interesting period of growth and ascension and people connecting with the essence of who they are um, while dealing with the interesting control mechanisms that are going on on planet very strongly, especially through the 2024 period. But I will assert again that that is the system of propulsion for awakening and for multi-dimensional engagements and experiences. So Pluto in Capricorn rules the authority figures in your life and how empowered you perceive your circumstances to be as well. But this is also speaking to the Capricorn energy of the programming and fear scripts and often the family and societal experiences that you had. And while the sun is transiting through cancer, it's about working with that heart and clearing and transforming some of these imprints that you received from systems or people that were not themselves conscious. So it's always an opportunity for clearing and for moving things out of the energetic body up into the heart for awareness, for blessing, and then ultimately for release. Then Mercury will oppose Pluto on the 25th of July, which of course is emphasizing your mind and your plans and your communications, both your internal narratives and your external narratives, and may kick up some patterns in your life regarding uh, authority. This can be an intense day, potentially for some with travel or family or past dynamics. If you can sit with it, you may find it very revealing. And the revelation of some of these patterns it are the very tools for you to engage with your own reality and your own heart differently. Now on the 21st, 
Venus transits, leaves the sign of Leo, which is expression and play, and heads into Virgo, where she'll be transiting through August 16th. Here in Virgo, um, the love nature is detailed and focused on functionality and health and productivity. Pleasure and pets can be a theme with this Virgo house activated. Virgo is learning in this life that nothing is perfect. <laughs> and when you morph towards the understanding and the um, acceptance of that, it can release what I'm seeing in a lot of clients is kind of a hyper diligence or an obsessive compulsive quality um, in having to just work, work, work and get things done, done, done. And certainly our institutions and our systems don't help us necessarily to maintain a healthy and supportive work-life balance. But if you can learn to release some of those hypocritical patterns, hypercritical patterns rather, both within and without, that's a lovely expression of this Venus transiting Virgo energy. But Virgo is the master of ergonomics and bringing functionality to environments and systems. So if you've been waiting for the energy and the will to get organized in some area of your life, this transit is really, really going to help. The following day on the 22nd, the sun makes his yearly transit into Leo every year at this time, returning to his home sign. And now um, there's a desire to be admired and to experience feelings of pride and admiration and to let that inner child out to play and to shine. Entertainment is um, extremely pleasurable now. Also, really following your authentic instincts. For the next four weeks, your inner child is strongly active urging you uh, to play more, um, to experience more pleasure. Just as Venus moves into opposition with Jupiter, now at one degree of Pisces, also on the 22nd. It's an expansive, happy time. The full moon in Aquarius is exact on Friday, July 23rd at 10.37 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and holds a wide conjunction to Saturn, while it's also sextiling that north node in Gemini's, Gemini. Aquarians often help others to get on their path. The sun signs, the Aquarian rising, Aquarius north node even. And they help others to get on their path by pouring out knowledge to their friends, to their community, and to the masses. The evolved Aquarian learns to focus on their path as well and the need to move forward in their life in an authentic manner. That's what the glyph of Aquarius is, is a woman holding an urn of water which is information and knowledge as she's pouring that out into the field. Full moons symbolize an, an emotional awareness as the sun is shining the light of consciousness onto the reflective moon. The moon is the reflective principle, the, our emotional principle. Essentially, full moons are a time for increased emotional intelligence, uh, regarding your inner workings, the past, and the feeling nature. But developments occur now with announcements and with government activities affecting the masses with its wide conjunction to Saturn. Friendships and groups you're aligned with may enter a period of commitment, Saturn, or maybe shifts or changes. They can grow in dedication and clarity as well. On the 27th, Mercury joins the sun in its home sign of Leo through August 11th, amplifying the daily life patterns and focus on children 
and leisure activities and romantic love and creativity. The following day, the planet of the higher mind, Mercury's the lower mind, the day-to-day -day analyzing linear thinking force. Jupiter is the higher consciousness mind of spirit. Jupiter retrogrades back into Aquarius on the 28th. Um, yeah, on the 28th, where he will be transiting through the end of December before he heads back into Pisces. I've really loved the Jupiter Pisces energy. It's been more sensitive. You know, some of you may have been feeling more empathic and um, tuned in, uh, compassion, kindness. Jupiter expands those Piscean qualities. Jupiter goes back into Aquarius, which is more of a detached kind of intellectual energy through the end of the year. But it's also about the expansion and development of inventions and new pathways and new groups and connections. So we, again, with the Jupiter Aquarius theme, we're focusing on the collective energy and also freedom themes. The expansive energy of Jupiter is going to be expanding all of the collective energy, the technological inventive energy. And so we move into this more detached, technologically driven and progressive energy of Aquarius. Health matters and getting organized is activated as Mars joins Venus in Virgo where the energy of will and confidence and life force transits through September 14th. Mars will really help you to get organized, to get healthy, to get structured, to work on products and services. Um, Virgo is a very pragmatic and practical step-by-step -step kind of energy. So you can know with this transit um, it's a great time to get organized in some fashion, wherever Virgo is in your chart. So it's a strong period ahead, streamlining your process, defining and upgrading your products and your services. Virgo also rules your health, and you may find you are naturally motivated to enhance your nutrition, your health regime, your immune systems, it is also a time, though, to be aware of any hypercritical tendencies and for some, even obsessive compulsive tendencies. With Virgo's life force energy of seeking perfection, the obsessive part of that is always working to do things perfectly or always being in a state of productivity and everything in your life having to have a purpose. Not a not a nice way to live. Um, the higher frequency of Virgo, of Virgo, though, is humbleness and being service-oriented and enjoying a task well done. Virgo is an extremely intuitive sign that receives information in a very kind of matter-of-fact and grounded manner. So pay attention to your gut your perceptions, and your energy downloads. Virgo often just knows. It, it can be quite sentient in its psychic knowing. By that, I mean you just feel it. That would be the follow your gut, trust your instincts kind of thing. So in many ways, a lovely period ahead. Happy July, and I'll speak with you again soon. Namaste.